everybody. I just wanted to do a quick update. As some of you may know, I do live in the Texas area, so we did experience the winter storm or the Texas freeze, and I just wanted to do a quick update on it. I'll only be talking about my experiences because I don't want this to be anything political or anything like that. So I will tell you a little bit about my experience. Um, first of all, the morning of the 15th, it did look very beautiful outside, and I do have a clip of that, and I'll, I'll show it right here. Today's February 15th. It's 18 degrees outside. Oh, I can see my breath. So this is actually very extremely slippery. Oh man, that's super slippery. <clears throat> I'm being very careful not to slip. <clears throat> Those are the plants that are probably dead. Oh my god, it's so cold, I keep coughing. It's like shocking. I don't want to slip. But honestly, you step and this is all ice. It is not snow. All right, it doesn't even make a dent. I'm stepping here, but if somebody comes down this street, they you, you can't even drive. Can't even drive. Oh, oh, I'm slipping. Oh, look, there's a beautiful, there's a beautiful little bird there. He's cold. Oh, poor thing. So as you can see, it, it looked very pretty and it did look like snow, but it was not snow. It was frozen solid. And if you tried to like grab any of the, what looked like snow, it was, it was like digging your fingers into concrete. It, it was just rock hard. It was very slippery down to like 18 degrees Fahrenheit which is like negative seven or eight Celsius. So maybe to some it wasn't that cold, but to me it was it was just so cold. I went outside and I started to cough because my I just couldn't take it. I just started to cough. So well, we are fine. I consider me and my family very fortunate because we only lost power and water for one day. So we were very fortunate. There was people in the state of Texas that went without water or power for like five or six days. And also so many people who lost their homes or had significant water damage. We did have our pipes bust and a little, a little background on that. So even if you did cover your pipes, it didn't matter. They still froze. That's just what happened. And I will say, if your pipes did not freeze, you still lost water because all of your neighbors had their pipes break, and so the water pressure was like non-existent. So a lot of people went without water, even if you prepared or not. The other thing is, uh, like how it happened to us, even if you could find a plumber that would go out to fix your pipes so that you could get water again, there are no supplies for that right now. So um, they can patch it up if they have even supplies, even just for that, or you just go without water. So at work, we went without water for about six days and it's just patched up. It's not actually fixed correctly because there are no supplies. So we didn't prepare for that. Also, a lot of people didn't know that you could lose power during this time. I was one of those people, I, I had no idea that because of the cold you were going to lose power so i didn't know about that but now we know and um, hopefully we can prepare for any future events like that but i just wanted to do a quick update let y'all know i'm okay i wanted to thank uh, an another youtube channel that i like to watch deborah's delicious dishes she said a beautiful prayer for the state of texas so i really appreciate that and um, also a quick update, my hair does look different. I did dye it blonde, so it is gonna look different than my other videos. So I hope everyone is having a fantastic start for your week and all the best. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll be having more delicious food recipes for you guys in the near future. Bye.